Hello, I'm Wendy Richardson and I'm presenting a poster today called Insect Pests Underground, Managing Pests in the Secret Wartime Tunnels at Dover Castle. English Heritage displays and stores collections within the chalk tunnels beneath Dover Castle, where the environment is ideal for wood borers to thrive. Improving the environmental conditions so as to eradicate, eradicate these pests would be highly impractical, so a collaborative management program has been introduced to control them. The secret wartime tunnels at Dover Castle consist of a complex of four miles of tunnels, which are split into three main levels known as casemate, annex and dumpy. The tunnel network was used during the Second World War as a command centre and annex and casemate levels are currently presented as dress spaces from this period with collections on open display. And the image you can see here is an example of the type of collections on open display and in storage within the tunnels. Dumpy level of the tunnels is less easily accessible and is generally used for object storage. The complexity of the tunnel system prohibits me measures that might eliminate insect pests entirely. The system of tunnels was dug into permeable and fissured chalk and therefore usual environmental recommendations of a relative humidity between 40 and 60% are difficult to achieve. MECO radio telemetric monitoring over the past 10 years has shown a constant average relative humidity of between 70 and 90%. The graph in front of you uh, shows the data from one of the rooms in Casemate for the last year, and this is indicative of the conditions of the tunnels in general. These conditions, along with the poor quality materials used in construction during the Second World War, provide ideal conditions for wood borers such as furniture beetle and wood weevil to thrive, and these insects are commonly found on traps within the tunnels. The main tenets of the management of pests within the tunnels are vigilance and observation. This is facilitated by an integrated pest management programme that has been running in the tunnels for nearly 20 years. The highly trained staff and a well-established and rigorous housekeeping schedule, along with the strong relationships between operational estates and collections departments, enables problems to be highlighted as soon as is possible, and it ensures swift and measured responses whether in implementing further monitoring or in proceeding to treatment or quarantine. And the image you can see here is a training session with volunteers on the basic identification of pests and pest damage. And this is a training session we ran before the volunteers work it with us in the tunnels. In conjunction with the estates team, local dehumidification has been introduced in some storage and display areas, and this helps to discourage pests and lower the risk of damage to the collections. It does, however, mean that insect pests can be more prevalent in the uncontrolled areas of the complex. This is managed by regularly fogging the areas with, where wood borers are noticed with constraint. In cases where a larger problem has been identified, the swift removal of infested materials for freezing, quarantine or disposal has proved invaluable in managing the risk of damage spreading throughout the system of tunnels. And this image here shows some infested panels being removed for disposal. So in conclusion, the extent and complexity of the tunnels complex prohibits any measures that might eliminate insect pests entirely. And this has meant that a strategy has had to be developed to manage the risks of damage. For 15 years, the conservation team at Dover Castle has worked alongside collections pest control manager and the estate's curatorial and operations teams to ensure that this strategy is implemented. Developing channels of communication between these departments has been a key to success. The collaborative approach and rigorous insect pest management and housekeeping programmes combined with environmental monitoring and collection and buildings checks have helped us to successfully manage and actually reduce the number of insect pests in the tunnels. And you can see these numbers reducing in the table in front of you here. So thank you very much for listening. 
I would like to thank Ambir Xavier Rowe and Dee Lauder for implementing the Integrated Pest Management Programme with English Heritage. And if you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.